Hey guys, it's Sharon with Little Brink Company, and um, I am here next to a mountain of bags uh, because I did a little shopping yesterday, uh, <laughs> and um, and I wanted to share it with you. And <laughs> today is December twenty seventh, so yesterday was the first day after Christmas, and I went to for all the Christmas sales. I'll tell you the you know sort of the good, the bad, and the ugly where I was able to find good deals where I wasn't which kind of surprised me. Um, I am sitting some, I, I think you all have seen this room before. This is our present living room because our our actual living room is still under, sort of under construction. We have a couple of rooms in the house that are in the middle of construction. The living room is one. So this is really Little Bird's playroom. However, it's not going, you know, he's getting older. He doesn't need a playroom anymore. He has a nice big bedroom of his own. So we're going to turn this in back into a um, guest room. And uh, that's not happening yet. <laughs> so when we do that, this wall of uh, Nerf behind me will we'll go away. It'll go up to his space. Um, and you might be able to see over here this door. That's kind of weird because it's got that kind of silver. Um, so that's duct taped because on the other side of that door is another room under construction. And to keep to make sure that the dust didn't kind of come into this room, we duct taped it just to, and we have to, Keep up with the duct tape just to make sure it doesn't leak in. I mean, it's an old house. It's, you know, 120-year-old house. And so we're, we're you know, kind of constantly under construction. Uh, but that's that's that little bit about the room that I'm in. Um, and why it's so weird that we have a mantle with no fireplace behind us. We've actually been periodically sort of, as we, re each room that we redo, we're taking down. Because there was a mantle in every single room. And we... We haven't gotten rid of them. I don't know what I want to do with them. I was thinking in each room, I would like to turn that into a shelf just to um, pay homage to the to the age of the house and the size of the house. So, anyway, moving on. Um, went to a lot of sales. Went to a lot of places yesterday. Um, and I'm going to start. I So uh, I went to Dollar Tree. Um, I did not find a lot of Dollar Tree. Actually, we did that the day before Christmas uh, because we were picking up some last minute, um, like just bags and things. And Dollar Tree was insane. Um, we went to, uh, so yesterday I went to TJ Maxx, uh, Hobby Lobby, Walmart, and Pop Shelf. So I went to several. And uh, let me just show you what I got. All right, so, oh yeah, before we get too far in, you might want to grab a drink and, uh, you know, something to eat. And, you know, just because it. Yeah. It, it's a mountain. It's a mountain. Mountain of bags. Um, that back in position. Um, yeah. Okay. So, uh, Grandma Lynn's birthday is the third, the 30th. Yes, the 30th. Um, so we picked up some uh, cat things for her cat kitty because she really doesn't need a whole lot. And she doesn't really want a lot. You know, she doesn't, she's, you know, just making sure she doesn't fill the house with a lot of stuff. But we thought, you know, she would like some things for her cat. So we picked the, these cute little things up. Um, for those of you who, who aren't, you know, who don't remember, Grandma Lynn is our next door neighbor who's kind of been a grandmother for little Brit for for these years. Um, so we got those cute little things. Somewhere there's another bag that has some little cat treats in it. Um, but this one was, oh, let me get this back. Um, this one surprised me. This is a Greenbrier. It doesn't look like it actually. It's It looks really nice. It's just a cat scratch toy. And I know that her cat really likes that, but that was surprising. Um, so something else that I ran into, and this is all I picked up when we were there, um, then this surprised me, are these Details Wooden Spoons. This is American Crafts. Um, and I was I was quite surprised. This is, of course, not Greenbrier, but $1.25. Found those. And I, and I was very surprised to find these. This is Recollections. So, of course, Recollections is Michael's. So, I went ahead and picked up these. I sometimes use these in different things. So, you get uh, just different paper straws. 
And of course, everybody's moving to paper straws now because the plastic is so bad for the environment. So I'm gonna put those aside. I'm gonna try to sort as we go because there's just so much going on here. I feel like there's something else in here. Oh, I did, this is the other, this is another, we, this little cat toy that we got for her kitty, which we thought she would like. Okay. Um, that, that was it from Dollar Tree. Uh, like I said, it was the day before Christmas. We were actually going somewhere and I just needed bags um, to, to put a few last minute things into. And we did get the bags. Um, I've got the fireplace on behind me and I tried to find one that was, you know, like constant fireplace. And I can't find ones that don't break into commercial. I know they have them. But um, anyway, um, so we did find the bags that we needed, but Dollar Tree was crazy. It was insane. So Saturday, uh, no, Sunday, on our way to um, our eldest, we stopped at a couple of places. There were like a couple of things. I don't even remember now what I needed. Um, oh, I know what it was. So for some reason, um, Big Brit, when he was in the attic, could not find Little Brit's stocking. And we were going to do, we have a special thing. Uh, it's, it's a special elf called Fitzgerald who comes um, sometimes throughout the season when you hear a bell ring. Fitzgerald might leave you a little gift. He's the smallest elf. This is something I invented for um, my eldest when his father and I divorced because it was really close to Christmas and I wanted him to feel like there was something special there for him. So I, I created this littlest elf who... This was what, you know, what he did. He can't, And so I would leave like little gifts and ring, and I would go hide and ring a bell. And, um, all sorts of things that I did to create it. So Fitzgerald became part of our family kind of um, tradition. Anyway, Fitzgerald was coming to, uh, because we were spending Christmas Eve with my eldest and his wife his and that family, um, Fitzgerald was going to come to their house. Couldn't find the stocking. We had to stop somewhere and get a nice stocking. So while... We regret, ran into, I know, long story. We ran into Dollar Tree. Um, I grabbed the things that we needed and then I called Big Brit in. He waited in line when I went next door to TJ Maxx. I walked into TJ Maxx. They had very little left and the line snaked all the way around the store. We stopped at probably, you know, we, we found a TJ Maxx and a Ross and Marshalls and they were all the same. Very little left line were lines were insane um i mean literally all the way around the stores and these are big stores because we were in um in raleigh and wake forest crazy so we had i had one last thing i said you know what instead of some of these bigger stores let's go to world market let's run into world market little Brit is with us he now knows that you know he knows that santa is uh you know real in our hearts does he um really, and Santa is real. So if there are any little kids around. <laughs> um, but but little Brit, um, which, uh, anyway, he came in with us. And that's when I had to explain to him that the reason we've been going from store to store was because, because I didn't want him to know <laughs> that Big Brit couldn't find a stocking. I don't know what he did with it. I really don't. Because he didn't bring all the Christmas stuff down because we have so much of the house in disarray which is making me insane. Um, so uh, he came in, he was like, that's okay. And so he picked his own stocking and he picked something that he loved, which was which was actually better in the long run. Uh, he picked one that I didn't expect him to pick, which was funny. But, um, but in World Market, because it's smaller, it's a little bit different. Um, it was really, I'm turning this off. I, there's no fireplace. They, they won't show me the fire. They keep getting commercials. Um, <laughs> uh, World Market was lovely. It was really lovely. And they did have some of their Christmas things on sale. And we managed to pick up a couple of things that the boys wanted. Um, and so that is, that was our, our lovely, um, my, my little story for Christmas Eve, which was kind of crazy. We actually did the, if you haven't seen the um, Christmas card, that we created, uh, Big Brit, Little Brit, and myself, um, please take a quick look at it, because that's, we did that right before we left, so that was actually done Christmas Eve, and we made it right before we left, and, and, um, everybody kind of a part of it, and it was just really fun to do, um, Little Brit had dressed in that outfit 
for the last day of school because we had a character day. So he was Scrooge. He really wanted to be Scrooge. We went hunting for the for a cape because in his mind, Scrooge and a lot of the, the movies that we see Scrooge is wearing a cape. We went hunting for a cape. So we we were gonna go we went into like the you know the thrift stores looking for something like that because I knew that would be almost impossible to find in a regular store. We're going into thrift stores and we went into one and we found this very long tailored coat. And I said, you know, this would be really nice for Scrooge. And he was like, Mom, that's, you know, it's not a cape. That's not what I'm looking for. I said, well, let's hold on to it just in case we can't find anything else. He said, oh, okay, it might work, I guess. And then I found um, what we were looking for was probably a coat that I could adapt, which we found. I don't, did I tell the story before? I don't think I told the story. I might have told the story. If I did, I'm sorry that I'm repeating myself, but <laughs> my husband was as far for the course. Um, but, uh, but little Brit, uh, so we found the one that I could adapt and he was like, that's, you know, that'll be the one. And I said, well, let's just, you just try them on. I can change this. I can adapt it. I can, you know, I can cut the sleeves off and I can bring it in and that it will look like a cape, but try this one on. So we tried on the long coat and he went, mom, I don't, I don't that's it. I don't need to try anything else on. This is it. And, um, and he talked about, he just felt really confident in in that outfit he wore the cravat um the so anyway if you would like to see what that looked like it's in he wears it for that for that uh card that we did there all right moving on moving on i'll move on uh, all right so the next place we went to was hobby lobby i went to the hobby lobby and i was surprised that they were still just 66 percent off now i know that's a, that sounds like a great deal um but when I look at the prices on the Hobby Lobby items, it's not always a great deal. I mean, it's a, it's a good deal if nobody else has sales. But I was thinking everybody else would have sales. And I was hoping to go in and find 75% off. I knew I wouldn't find 90. Well, it was still just 66% off. They had added the dinnerware and all the food items to it. I was like, so um, the only thing that I found that I decided, you know, this is something that I... I go through so much paper and all of these colors I use throughout the year. They're not just, but this Christmas pack was 66% off, which ended up being like five something. Um, so that was a good deal for the paper. And then I found <clears throat> these little ones, these little paper packs. That's upside down, isn't it? Um, and I've hauled these before and I would, I would open it, but um, I've shown you these before. So I bought... The, uh, two of these, because I certainly have this, in the, and I bought two of these, and they're super cute. Um, so the and these again, basically they were two thirds off. So um, these came out to be I don't know a dollar something, pretty good prices. You know, certainly something worth buying. Um, and then uh, for for that price off, I picked up three of these for that Christmas stocking that we do. I probably will put uh, one of these aside for, you know, if I need to put together a little gift basket for one of uh, Little Brit's friends for something. Um, because these are kind of perfect, especially at that, that, that age. Honestly, at many ages, these are kind of perfect. Um, so they had been $2.49, let's see, a third of $2.00, uh, like $0.80, cents, $0.81 cents for these which was a very good deal. I grabbed up, I think this is all they had in mine. Um, so I picked those up and then I got these cute little guys, which ended up being like a dollar thirty. Um, I thought those were adorable. They had several different ones. I had actually picked up some of the, the other, I had not seen these when I was there before. Um, I had picked up the other ones um, when I was in there like the week before Christmas. And uh, they were 66% off, same same deal. That was it. That's all I got at Hobby Lobby. I did see people, I saw a lot of people absolutely loading up their vehicle, I mean, loading up their cart, not vehicles. Well, that too in the parking lot, but loading up their carts and, um, you know, really filling up. I mean, I don't know that Hobby Lobby will need to go any cheaper than 66% off the way people were buying it. They were buying like it was 90% off. Um, this is something that interesting. You all might be, you all might be interested in this one. Um, so having a conversation with my with my eldest and his wife, and they've been in retail for many, many years, 
and uh and it and my um his father-in-law was there the, his the mother and father-in-law were there with us uh we were all having you know big dinner together and and um and his father-in-law said that that uh that Tyler had predicted this that he had said last year that this year there would be nowhere near the same volume of items available and he was absolutely correct everything that i saw was you know they were selling out of things that's why dollar tree had to start putting out valentine's day and easter because they were selling out of christmas um and that it to me is just fascinating the dollar tree that we went into when i was looking for a bag i was actually looking for the jumbo bags the big plastic ones and i did find them uh, because they were kind of off in the wrong place but they had completely empty walls where the where the christmas items had been completely empty empty entire sections completely empty um and so he said that's you know that's why they have to put out their their stuff and i thought well and, and he said the same thing's true for tj maxx and ross and those other places they're selling out they're selling much faster than they thought they would they don't have a whole lot of christmas i mean com comparable to the previous year when they had tons um they just don't have it left because they didn't order as much you know in retail business i guess that makes sense you don't the, you know you don't have to put mark things down you don't have to have the big discount sales but um I just thought that was really interesting and I wonder what that means for next year because they sold out and there was this mad rush to get things and no one could get things. They could have sold more. You know, they're always looking for that balance. I'll be very interested to see how much they have next year. I wonder if they'll have a lot more next year again because this year they didn't have enough to sell. Um, okay, move it on. So I think the next thing, I'm going to show these to you in sections so it makes sense. And I'm actually pulling up, I have a big box here um, that I'm going to put in everything that's meant for the stocking. Maybe not. Maybe I'll put everything in here that's meant for, I don't know. I'm going to put stuff in this big box. <laughs> I don't know what yet. Oh, sorry. I don't know if I've shown you all these big gingerbreads. These are Timu, of course. And I've got a tea, Crafting with Timu video coming out, too. I was going to break this into sections and just show you, like, all the TJ Maxx in one video and all of it. And I thought, no, you guys want, you're going to want to see it now so you can see some of the, what's available if you want to go out shopping. Um, and really, depending on your store, there could still be a lot available. Uh, so to what yeah and and if you're not familiar with what I'm talking about with the stocking, I've mentioned it in many different videos, but it's something my family does that my parents started. Oh, let's get this back in. Uh, my parents started many years ago. We do these giant stockings, and everybody we we just fill them with gifts. Um, everyone in my family gets around together if we can. Uh, my brother did a count of how many people are in kind of our immediate family. There were nine children uh, to my parents. Uh, my, uh, one of my older sisters did pass away, uh, when she was 40. Um, but, uh, that, that each of us has family and we have children and our children have children. So right now, if you got us all together, there would be 53 of us. <clears throat> That's a lot. And actually a number of our children haven't had children yet. So, I mean, look how young little Brit is. It's crazy. <clears throat> anyway. So we're getting together this year. We are actually doing the stocking, the big stocking event at um, my eldest son's. And, but but I do the, the planning and the gathering and the making and, and uh, the bulk of the buying <clears throat> usually falls on us. So, which is, which is perfect. You know, it's, um, I love doing it. I'm happy to do it. I enjoy it very much. All right. So let me show you. Um, a lot of these are for that stocking. So uh, when <laughs> years ago when we didn't have much money, the, it was a lot cheaper. Now we try to add really nice things. So this is something called Pack Party. I have never seen these anything like this before. I don't know if people will like it, but this is kind of like stocking bling. Have you guys ever seen this? So you, add, I mean, you can add it to other things too, like a wreath or something. But it's intended to go on your stocking. So I didn't pick up a lot of these because I wasn't sure if the family would enjoy them as much. <clears throat> but I did get one of each of the ones that I could find. I mean, just how, how cute is that? With the little jingle bells. If you're doing a Fitzgerald, the jingle bells are nice. There's one more which may not have... I'll show you if I can find it. It may not have ended up in this bag. Um, 
And then when we get together, we'll, uh, little Brit will do, oh, it did. Goodness. There's the last one that I could find. I don't know how many of these are out there. Um, everything at Walmart was half price. Um, and I will say that it was still better prices than I would have had at the, for many things than I would have had with the 66% off at Hobby Lobby, which was interesting. Um, these were originally $1.98, so they were like 99 cents, which I thought was pretty good, especially for something that we're just kind of trying out. Um, uh, Little Brit will be doing a charcuterie tray. He does charcuterie trays. He's very good at them. I should insert a picture of the one, the first one he ever did when he was like nine. Um, but we picked up just some, some cute little paper plates and the um, napkins to match. I was surprised at how much these had gone up. So all of these were originally two forty eight, and then they were $1.25. Yeah, $1.25. So Dollar Tree prices. Um, and I thought those were quite cute definitely something we can use um these i'm act are not going to go in the stocking i did pick up presents for family and uh, when we were out and about um our middle son has always enjoyed um nightmare before christmas so we believe he's going to be coming to visit us soon so i picked up this cute little set of pens i think that's so cute it's just adorable. These are Funkos, and these were actually quite expensive originally. They were like $8 for the two. They had a lot of these left because um, they're only down to $4, which is still kind of expensive. Well, I mean, that means it's $2 a pen. When you think at Dollar Tree, you're spending $1.25. It's only 75 cents more, but you don't. I think none of us think like that. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Um, and then Elf, uh, I, I, I might keep these for myself because I love that movie. Um, and it was one of the last movies I saw with my mother. So, um, those go in that pile, and I need to start doing a bag of bags. <laughs> okay, next, I'm just grabbing from this. I know which, I hope nothing's broken in here. Good gracious. They, they don't have the ability to, at Walmart, they sell glassware, but they don't wrap it. They're putting it in these plastic bags, so you have to be careful. Um, let me see if I can get this piece out. Yeah, these look like they're okay. I'm going to have to wash these before we put them in the stocking. I thought this was adorable. Can you see that? It, it says um, Naughty List. Very cute. And it's got a little gingerbread wine topper that goes with it. I thought those were really cute. Um, I would tell you prices. I just don't know that I can find prices. You know how Walmart does things. They don't, they don't price stuff. They put the prices on like... Um, you know, on, on the shelves, if you can find on the shelf. I think that this one was something like $4 and I got it for two. I want to say that. Um, there are price points I try to keep with and put that one in there. And then this one, let me see if I can find the topper to it. There's the topper. This one's cute. I gotta, I'll fix that in there, but You've got the cute little house topper, and then it goes with this little glass with just the, it's kind of nice. Again, though, it just, uh, these, I was happy to find ones that weren't broken, because you know how, hmm, you gotta really ch check and double check that things aren't broken. Um, okay, so we picked up this cute pom-pom um, hat. I was kind of surprised. So it was coming out at like six bucks and um, I had four of them and then I put the other three back. I was like, six bucks is too rich for me. But this one, Little Brit wanted because he said it looked really British to him and it does. It's got, you know, some really nice British feel colors to it. Um, so we went ahead and, but when we went up to the checkout, we found out that it had originally been $12, which I thought was kind of expensive, but Designed with the planet in mind, made from 54% recycled material. Recycled polyester? Recycled fibers. I think that's cool, though. You know, I actually didn't read that. I might go back and get the uh, get the couple out. There were some really cute ones. One head was like silvery on top. Really super cute. And 
I will absolutely support companies who are finding ways to start actually recycling things so that we don't you know, keep filling up. The landfalls, uh, landfill, landfalls, landfills. Um, I thought this was cute. It's a cute little, uh, it's a paint your own planter. I want to say this one came down to like, I think this one was originally five and it came down to about two fifty. And I like that. Oh, it was three ninety eight. This one actually has a price in it. So this was two. And I just thought the little painting was cute. I have a niece. Now she's an adult niece, but she loves Disney. This Disney is her thing, as does, you know, my daughter. Um, as do I, quite frankly. Um, so I thought this would be cute. Uh, you know, her mom, um, I think is going to be there. So she might like that, um, to pick that up for her. Or, um, you know, we have several of, of my uh, brothers and sisters. They have little children, you know, little, they have grandchildren, little grandchildren. This is a, this is a really nice project. So that goes in with that. I just thought this was adorable. It is a little gingerbread gnome and he smells like gingerbread. He actually smells like gingerbread. And that's what it says. They smells like gingerbread. He was three fifty dollars originally. So $1.75, I should have picked up more of these. This is really cute. Um, I'm not going back to Walmart though. You could not pay me to go back to Walmart. I am not a Walmart fan, so. Okay, I found, I think I've got more than one of these. I loved this one so much. It's a little cute pet outfit. Many of us have dogs. This is the small, so this is, uh, this one will be for Cupcake. It was adorable. And I'm pretty sure this one was like two bucks. I mean, or $2 or $2.50 when, I, you know, when we scanned it. Uh, which, by the way, I had to walk around with my phone scanning everything just to make sure it was actually on sale. It was actually the presses. Um, so... Yes, this is for Cupcake. It's for you. Sorry, she's right in front of me. If you haven't seen Cupcake, she's our little Chihuahua mix. Yes, you're a cute little girl too. Yeah, uh-huh. You hear me talking about you, don't you? All right, come on. Oh, 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 no, the big one wants to come in. Yeah, Sophia, I do have one for you too. I have one for you. Of course I would never forget you. Don't be silly. Don't be silly. I would never forget you. They get gungy in their eyes. I know. Okay. All right. I've got to get back. Mama's got to get back to doing stuff. Let me get the eyes. Okay. All right. Go settle. Settle. Go settle. Yes. Love. Love. Adore and love. Oh, no. What happened to that one? Oh, my goodness. Okay. You guys, go go cuddle together. Let Mom do her video. Okay. Okay. Uh, and then I picked up this uh, cute pack. I I have not opened it to take a look at it. It was two ninety eight. So for a buck fifty, for twenty four, it looks like somebody pre opened it for me and pulled out some envelopes and shoved them back in. And sure, that is the thing that you do get. That's the unfortunate thing that you get sometimes at these places. So uh, it looks like. Um, for $1.50, I'm not going to worry about it too much. The first card's ruined. It looks like somebody pulled it out and just kind of shoved it back in. Um, but you get four of each of these, and I will turn these into, if you haven't seen my video where I turn cards into um, little notepads, I'll try to remember to link it below. These are fabulous. I love the look of these. Uh, they're a little bit shiny for me, so I might. there's a couple of different things you can do to get rid of the shines. And, some of you all, uh, lovely viewers, um, told me how to how to get rid of some of the shine on some of these. These are these are really cute. I like doing the um, the older looking. It would have been fun to find some retro ones. Oh. Mailman, uh, Sophia, no. Or it could be my husband running home because we popped, uh, Little Brit and I somehow popped a fuse earlier. You know, older house. All right, let me fit these back in properly so I don't damage anything. Wow. Nope, I think it was a mailman. Um, so yeah, but for a buck fifty, 
that's a pretty good deal. All right, next I'm trying to stick with the Walmart boxes. This one is, oh yes. This one was a little expensive, but uh, one of the things that we also do at the stocking is we buy an individual present for someone. I don't know if one of my sisters might be there. So just in case she's there, I picked this up for her. She is a big, um, um, I can't think of the name of it, whatever this company is. Starbucks. She's a big Starbucks fan. Don't it. So this was a cute set. It was originally $20, down to $10. Um, so for the presents, you know, I try to keep everything else kind of low if I can, but for the presents, I'll go just to the individualized ones. We'll go a little bit higher. Okay. <laughs> so this is something... It's called a Jingle Jam Radio. I just think this is so super fun. This was originally $20 down to $10. And uh, it needs a battery change because clearly someone had turned it on and not, um, you know, and left it on. So, um, so my husband's going to change the battery on it. And it plays, it's supposed to play nine different songs. Um, yeah, nine songs illuminated uh battery operated so we'll change the batteries it's so cute some of the other ones were working just fine i sure hope it works um but that's that's for us i thought that would be fun to put on our kitchen table they also had a jukebox which i was very tempted by uh, but the jukeboxes were pink and mint green which i love but not really what goes with my christmas decor for the most part um Picked up this cute little penguin for the stocking. He was adorable. Uh, originally $9. So he was $4.50. He was a little bit more on the expensive side of things, but so cute. So, so cute. Let me put him in there. And then I found, I have not, you know, again, this looks like somebody got into it. Um, so let's take a look and see. This is a really cool tin. Um, and then... It's supposed to have cards inside. Oh, good. Looks like everything is still wrapped up nice and neat. And so the cards are, aren't these wonderful? I really love the Coca-Cola Santa. These are absolutely going to become um, notebooks and other things. I, I will absolutely be um, using these for um, crafting. I do that a lot with cards. So cute. Oh yeah, these are adorable. See, that's one, two. I think there's only three different kinds in here. Did I see him already? No, look at him. Or is he the one I just showed you? Oh, he's the one I just showed you. Okay, so you get one, two. You got a bunch. <laughs> And the pack of envelopes, and I will tell you, uh, I, you know, I'll use the envelopes for envelope albums. I will use the, um, and I may use a couple of these cards in some of the envelope albums. Um, I use that. Okay, I'll put that in my trash. That goes there. So this guy, no idea what, I think he was, he was not expensive. This, this tin, um, it, he might have been like six or down to three. So he's for crafting. More for crafting than I realized. Okay, let's see what else. This is more Walmart. Oh, we did some damage at Walmart. We did. I, okay, so this was originally, originally, uh, five nights, so six dollars. This was down to three. I thought that was perfect. In particular, I wanted to get this, um, thinking with with one of my other sisters in mind who really likes vintage because I think these little deer can you see him clearly there are two of these little deer in there and I think that they are absolutely adorable and very vintagey looking and you could even take those deer to kind of another step vintage wise um I bought a this is for me <laughs> these nice aloe infused socks um I think they came down to like a buck fifty these were exciting. So these ended up being 
64 cents each. So I bought two of each. They had a ton. I bought two each of the ones that they had. And I'll probably put, you know, maybe a little pack of these, uh, of, of several of these in the stocking. Um, these have the, uh, the backing. Um, I think these are great. I craft with these. I like to take something like this and create a folio type thing around it. Um, because when I go shopping, I want something to write on. I don't want just a little paper that I'm poking my pen through. So I can, I'll create a little folio that goes around it that kind of matches the idea of it and, um, and use these for, uh, to, to do that with. So those were, those were exciting for 64 cents each. I wonder if I should have bought more. I don't have room for more. So most of what you see, and I know a lot of you are like, where do you put it all? Most of what you see is intended for the business. So, um, so I make with it and then I sell it. At least that's the goal. Okay, here are more of these. See, mommy did not forget you. So this one says it is uh, good for a dog that is 20 to 50 pounds. So the, so the pups will have um, cute little matching outfits, maybe. Or, or I might go for that one. So this is another medium for the same size. Um, our Sophia is about 50 pounds, just a little bit. She's, she's more like 48. She's close. So this should fit her. Um, it's so cute. Uh, I love this little Santa one. I love, love the little elf one. I'm kind of tempted to keep one Santa, one elf. And then um, with the other members of the family, that lots of members of my family have dogs that are approximately the same size. So... I'll put one in the stocking. Um, and I, like I said, they were like $2. I mean, it was a great deal. Uh, these trays were also 64 cents. So I'm taking these with just so that uh, the kids have something to, more stuff to put food into if someone else brings food. And I picked up one pack of the Pioneer Woman um, uh, napkins. Uh, I'm, go I'm going to use these for crafting. That's my intention right now, but I'll do something with these for crafting. because so I think that her, um, I really like the style of what she uses and I can um, Mod Podge with those. Decoupage. Okay, anything else? Oh, this is Walmart right here. Okay. I just thought this was so fun and funny that I'm putting it in the stocking and whoever gets it, we always have something that's just kind of funny. It's polar bear poo marshmallows with a whoopee cushion. I know. It, blame my husband. You all have met him. Blame him for this humor. Uh, Little Bert was shopping with me. He actually chose this. I still think it's kind of funny. He thought this would be hilarious in the stocking. So into the stocking it goes. This is so stinking cute. I think this pennant is adorable. This was um, this was four ninety eight. So for two fifty, I think it's adorable. I'm gonna put it up on the house. Um, I think it's adorable. Okay. Oh, and then I found some of these. So these were originally. I don't know if I can find the price on them. Whatever they were originally, they were like a dollar. They might have been under a dollar. Actually, I think they were like seventy five cents or something. They were all cheap as chips. Um, they might have been 50 cents. I can't, they don't have the original prices on them. Um, so I found, I bought two oven mitts and I found, a f I think there's more in one of these other bags. Um, this one with the gingerbread, I mean, did the gingerbread and then the toy, excuse me, toy, toy soldiers. I got an extra gingerbread for us. Um, again, I'm pretty sure they were like 50 cents or maybe 60 cents. I mean, they were, they were the perfect price for me. And what I'll do you know, when I put these into the stocking is I will match up probably something like that. And then I'll put this pair in, um, just so they're cute and substantial. Like I said, when we were, when we didn't have much money, you know, the things, it was all, it was generally a lot of stuff that maybe Dollar Tree when Dollar Tree was still a dollar 
or when I could find really cheap stuff. And I still found some of those prices now, but I can go a little bit more expensive. Not a lot more. We're not, you know, we're not, <laughs> we're not rich, but we don't hurt. Most of the time. <laughs> then again, we got doctor's bills coming in from my lovely hospital stays. Doing better now though. Okay, so I found these wonderful things. I don't know if you all saw these when people were doing walkthroughs. They were originally only $4.98 to begin with. So $2.50. Isn't that cute? These are going to go in the stocking. Again, that sister who likes vintage -y type things, I thought... I'm, did I, buy two? I bought two of these so I could keep one. I bought two of those so I could keep one. Because I think they're adorable. Not again, dog. I just think this guy is so stinking cute. He is. He is. All right, here's another one. Oh, this does not sound good. Okay. More glass from Walmart, but I swear next time I'm bringing my own stuff to wrap it in. So, I don't remember the prices of these. Isn't that adorable? I just think it's really cute. It would be difficult to clean, but we all have scrub brushes now that do that, that get in the deep crevices. Um, I think this is really cute, and this is glass. Pretty sure that this was, I, I'm positive it was no more than $2. I think it was less. I think it, I think originally it was like three, so it came down to $1.50. I think. Not sure. All right, let me put that one in. So I went ahead and bought two of those. That's what I was hearing clinking. Clinking always makes me a wee bit nervous. All right, let me find a good place to put this one so it's not going to clink anymore. And I think that's it for Walmart. We're only 41 minutes in. This is going to be a heck of a long video. It'll probably take at least a, at least a day or two to load because, well, depends on what I'm loading. Anywho, put that one in there. Put that one there. Time for TJ Maxx. If it gets too long, if it gets more than an hour, I may have to stop. And if I'd stop telling you stories, it wouldn't be that long. Oh, okay. So this whole bag is for this. I have another story for you. So this whole bag is for Little Bird. I'm taking just a quick, quick sip. So. Okay, um, when I went through TJ Maxx, I'm walking through and there were no sale prices on anything, anything. It was all the same price. I was like, well, you know, really no, no sale prices at all. It just, there we go. Um, and, um, no. So, I'll just do that. Um, so I, I went and did a little bit of shopping for some things that Little Brit still needs. And he had asked for, and I couldn't find them before Christmas. He wanted, okay, boys, right? He has PE coming up next semester, which means that he'll have to be changing in the locker room. I hate how they do this because they do not give boys um, the same ability of for privacy that they give girls. And I think it builds certain things that they, anyway. Um, but... He said, Mom, can I have like some fun underwear? Something that, and I said, sure. You know, we'll see what we can find you. So these were not on sale, but I found him. The, the I know these came in for Christmas. The Ted Lasso, this is boxer briefs and crew socks with the Believe. I love Ted Lasso, I'm a big fan. Um, I found him the Tootsie Roll. <laughs> boxers with socks. I found him, uh, oh, this one was funny. Uh, movie night socks and trivia. I know these aren't boxers, but I thought this was hilarious because we do a lot of trivia in the evenings. Um, after dinner, we'll sit at the, the dinner table and we'll do some kind of trivia games and things. Um, it's super fun. And then we had, uh, this was the first year that we let him watch Gremlins. That was actually just last week. Uh, because it Gremlins is kind of gruesome. And although it's funny, um, we really felt like he had to be a certain age to watch it. So he got to watch Gremlins this year. And he loved it. Look what I found. <laughs> it 
And these are boxers and crew socks. They're just hilarious. So look at that little, like the chicken. Egg. These are so funny. So we'll probably put those into the stocking kind of intermittently for him. We, I do set it up. It's a little bit like, um, you know, give this to Griffin, to, to, you know, to little Bray, or Griffin, give this to Griffin and take one of his presents, one of his things on his pile for yourself. And uh, everybody gets those ones that are specific to them. I bought him a belt. I hope it's not too big because he is such a skinny kid that things keep falling off of him. His pants fall off because he is a skinny kid. He's, he's back to where during COVID it, he actually gained weight, which was quite surprising. Um, and I don't know what that was from because prior to that, it was always difficult to keep weight on the kid. And now we're back to having a difficult time keeping weight on the kid. So, um, and I bought him a shirt. This was down to $6, just nice and simple for him. So this is supposed to be cool technology because he gets so hot, it's super soft. But it was, um, yeah, it was on, it's on sale, so did the mushroom. All right. So I'm going through and I'm buying those things. And I say to the salesperson in front of me, and there's a little bit more to the story. I say to the salesperson in front of me, um, I was really surprised you don't have any Christmas on sale. And the saleswoman thought that I was um, from South America. We'll just say it that way. She thought I was from South America. Um, and I, I, I get, uh, every once in a while, I will get that. People do think, people think that I have a, a bit of a South American look, um, dark hair. Um, my heritage is actually, uh, German, French, and Polish. Um, but you know, whatever. And started to explain to me, uh, what TJ Maxx is. And she was talking really slow, telling me that TJ Maxx and I had already spoken to the woman telling me, that, well, TJ Maxx is a discount store. And so the things here are already discount. Yeah. Um, and I, I'm, I have no intention of being ugly to anyone. I don't think that that ever solves anything. But I also, yeah, no, we're not going there said, well, I know what TJ Maxx is. I'm perfectly aware of it. I'm wondering why your Christmas items are not discounted out on the floor. And she just kind of opened her eyes really wide and told me that they knew that the Christmas items were on sale. So if we brought something up there, they would discount them 50%. Great. Thank you. And I left. So that was interesting. But... I did indeed tie my bag up and walk right back into the store and did some major damage. <laughs> so ready to see what I got? Okay. They had some very nice things. Okay. So I picked up this cute little mug and ornament set. I think this guy is adorable. I think he's really cute. I love the ornament. Honestly, I love the ornament more than the mug. I think the ornament's really cute. This was originally $7.99, so... Four dollars. They did do something strange. Um, each one, because they hadn't already put a sale price tag on them, she put an X on every single price tag, which was kind of weird, but whatever. Um, I had a different sales clerk, and she was quite nice. And then I picked up this absolutely gorgeous mug. And it says, and I want to say that I believe this is Braille, but it's not raised. You can you can still feel the difference in it. Um, so it says peace. And nothing on the inside. It's just, I love, that color is just gorgeous. Just gorgeous. And this one was $4.99, so $2.50. I thought that was pretty wonderful. Um... Price tags. <laughs> Not price tags. Price prices. Um, oh, I I ran over to see if I could find any of the paper goods because I love paper goods. Um, I found this wonderful stack. 
Isn't that cute? It says Merry Christmas. It's just a stack of notes, and I think the top ones are sticky. It's a stack of notepads, three blocks, 200 sheets. It's 200 sheets each. So this was $5.99 and $3. That was a deal. I love these. I'm keeping one of these. I'm putting one of the stocking. I'm keeping one of them. I just thought these were fabulous. These were $3.99, so down to $2. So you get this cute little ornament, and then you get the you get this twine. Or it's like a cotton twine. Um, they call it a, oh, it's uh it says it's eight meters of red yarn. So it says. Um, but it's a it's a thicker one. You could use this for different things. Um, anyway, so cute. It's so cute. So I am putting one, so I bought two. One for me, one for them. Uh, $3.99, $2 each. Really cute. And then, oh my golly, guys. I'm just going to pick up one of these. I found these. This has three platters in it. And it was only $4.99. So it was $2.50 for this one. These are heavy-duty platters. I mean, these are, these are meant to keep. I mean, they're meant for long-term. Um, but... You know, there's there's so many different things that we do that you that we do that we could take platters to. It's so nice to have them around just for whatever. Uh, my mom used to take her Christmas ones or her ones that were like for other seasons, and she would wrap them in, in tinfoil. And it was then for any season, which was really smart. Um, but super cute. I bought four of these because I thought for $2.50, that's a great deal. We're going to keep one set here. Uh, because I know that there are times when we can use these. But if you do a big cookie exchange and you wanted to put out platters for people to put their cookies on, um, this is a great deal. I mean, four of these gives, gives me 12 platters. And they are such, an, I mean, look at that size. Okay, so three into stocking and one for me. And that concludes that. Bag. I'm going to start moving these bags over here. Um, what's next? Oh, we're closing it on an hour. I'm going to try to speed up. I picked this up for me. My, for me. It's for me. I'm just going to say it's for me. Uh, it was $14.99, so it was $7.50. I, I'm a big Harry Potter fan, and this is so cool because you can see it gives you all of these cool, it's got mini books and, um, mementos and other things in it. I just thought that was super neat. So, fun. And I picked up this puzzle. This was $9.99, so it was down to five. Um, I have uh, one of my brothers loves doing puzzles. He and his wife do puzzles all the time. So usually during for stocking, I, that's what I'll make sure he's getting, um, you know, in his stock. They even do a huge puzzle exchange with friends. Um, I picked up this uh, this amazing scraper, spatula, and cookie cutter set. Uh, it was $5.99 down to $3. I actually don't have a spatula like this, and I was going to put it in the stocking, and I think I'm going to keep it. It's so cute. These are actually, these are for me. These were $6.99. Um, and I do wear these kinds of things all the time. Oops, turn this way. Um, and I just, you know, I just love them. This is, these two, you know, these, this is candy cane. The, to me, that's going to just be a Christmas one. But this is, it's red. Any time of the year, the green, even the green stripe for um, um, St. Patrick's Day. Those are cute. I don't think anyone else in my family wears that. This is going to go into the stocking because we all have dogs. So many of us. For $7.99 down to $8, I mean, I'm sorry, for $8 down to $4, um, there's 16 rolls in here. Uh, so I think any of us would enjoy getting that. <laughs> and I found this cute Yeti. This was uh, $9.99 down to 5 so this is what's interesting for me. All right, this was nine. This is now five dollars, which means each of these was two fifty. Now, if I bought um, the cheap um, dishcloths, dish towels at Dollar Tree, I'd be paying a dollar twenty-five. 
but they're, they're, let me think how to put that nicely. They're not the same quality. So for $2.50 a piece, I think that that's really good. And I think the Yetis are adorable. I really do think the Yetis are adorable. <clears throat> and I haven't decided whether the Yetis are going in the stocking or whether they're staying here. We, <clears throat> we This year, I realized that a lot of my dish towels had become just, you know, they're, they've they been around for a long time. We've been using them for years, and I needed to start replacing some of them. They they were just getting old. Um, old and a little bit threadbare, and I'm like, yeah, time, time to replace them. Let's see what else we have over here. Oh, okay. More. Oh, yeah. I may have done a little shopping for me. Um, so I did pick up this um, Martha Stewart spool. I love these wooden ones that they that she sells now. Actually, um, Big Brit and Little Brit got me a couple of these uh, for Christmas. I love them. I love them. They do all sorts of different ones, different yarns and things on them. <clears throat> this was originally $7.99, so $4. Um, I think I only found one of those. I found these cute little ones, $2.99, so down to $1.50. With the pen and the little pad of paper that's going in the stocking. I think this little guy is so stinking cute. Got the little pad of paper. This was $3.99, so $2. That goes in the stocking. Some of this I have to talk to Big Bird about, about, you know, whether we're keeping it or not. We had seen this together, and we both thought this was super cool, and I think we're going to keep it. Um, maybe I should have bought more than one, but it was 5 bucks. I mean, it was $9.99 down to $5, and I do, you know, <laughs> I was spending enough money. Um, anyway, these are measuring cups. Isn't that wild? <clears throat> All of these stackables are measuring cups. <clears throat> So you've got your cup, uh, your three quarter, well, no, your cup, your half cup, your three quarter, and your quarter. And um, and then on the very back, there's actually a recipe. I think this is super cool. Super cool to leave out, and then when you're baking, you're just grabbing them, washing them, and it, and it actually is a decoration for your counter. I think that was really cute, and we had looked at that together. Um and then this one's going to go away for next year for uh, part of our Advent. These are uh, brain teasers. So this is a little Advent calendar. This was originally $9.99 down to $5. So that's going to stay um, for next year. That's the kind of thing we like to do with Little Brit. It's the kind of thing we have fun with. So I'm putting some of these back in because this is getting... Oh, I put that there. Yeah, there's more TJ Maxx. <clears throat> but we are getting to the end of TJ Maxx. Oh, I found this one. It was originally $4.99 down to um, $2.50. This uh, ribbon is just awesome. I uh, I don't know what my plan will be for it yet. This was um, five yards. But for $2.50, winner, winner, chicken dinner. Okay. Um, I bought, uh, I think I, yeah, I grabbed one. I think I might have had two of these. Is it two of these that I got? Let me see if this other one is the same thing. I think so. <clears throat> because I thought the fan, yeah, this is the kind of thing that I think everybody could, everyone would enjoy. Um, it's just the really good hot chocolate mixes. They were $5 down to $2.50. Can you tell that I know that nowadays, all right, because we all grab stuff from the stocking and I very, very likely and often do end up with my own stuff. I end up pulling my own stuff out of the stocking. Um, I only buy stuff that I'd be happy to take back home with me. Hello. I think it's a good plan. Okay. Um, I bought uh, two of these. These had been $4 down to $2. Um, really like these. I just think they're fun. These are just fun. They're just kitchen sponges, uh, but they're fun. So one for the stocking. Do you like that one for the stocking? One for me thing? I like that. Um, I did pick up a pack of these adorable Santa napkins because I want to do some decoupage with these. And uh, and I thought that, you know, with a whole pack of them, I think how many are in here? They were $2.99 down to a buck fifty, um, and you get forty 
I mean, honestly, it's better than. Me. Oh, here's. I knew I had picked up more than one of these. Isn't that beautiful? It's velvet. It's a velvet ribbon. $5.99 down to $3. I mean, you, you can't buy that regularly. 10 yards. And it's this awesome spool. As we get ready, to, as we start to, once we're done with these two rooms, we'll be remodeling the enti that entire half of the house, which includes my studio, uh, which is, as you all know, a big mess. But it won't be. And I'm looking forward to, like, designing it and doing things. Um, I bought two of these because I have not yet sent my in-laws their Christmas card. Uh, so these were $5 down to $2.50. I bought one for my uh, in-laws and one for um, my aunt, aunt and uncle-in-law. Look at that. They had a bunch of different ones. I thought this was the prettiest. I would have could have quite happily bought more, but at two fifty they were still pretty dear. Um, but I wanted to send something fun to both of them. Uh, I have just the sweetest um, in laws, and and my um, my husband's uh, uncle and and uh, I mean aunt and her husband are just the nicest people you'd ever want to meet. Um, then. They're so sweet. They were asking when we were coming back to London, to England. And I'm, I'm hoping soon, actually, because um, I can't wait to go back. And I really want to go see them and everybody else and spend time with my kids over there. So, um, Okay, I found this. They had a bunch of these left. They were originally $5.99 down to $3. I just thought this is so cute. This big, giant truck. That that is That really gives you details for a cookie cutter. That goes into the stocking. This is the last one from TJ Maxx. This is, it's called Cup of Life, and it's a whole bunch of different teas. It's a whole classic tea collection. You get Cool and Calm, Green Monica, Perfect Peace, and Zest and Zing. And um, for anyone who's been following me, you know this is for Little Brit. This is just, he loves tea. He's very British. Um, okay. That is all Hobby Lobby, Dollar Tree, TJ Maxx, and Walmart. The last one that we're going to get into here is Pop Shelf. And Pop Shelf also didn't have everything marked. Um, they had a few signs up, but not everything was actually the 50% off. Most of it was. I think we came, we ran into two items that were clearly Christmas, but were not ringing up as the half price. And so I just stuck to the half price items. Now, the people who will be at the stocking with us are all adults except for our little Brit. Now that, you, you know, they have children and children, children's children, but those, they off, they usually don't come travel that far at Christmas time. So, you know, so I say that before I show you everything. So you know that out of everyone opening it, there's only one child and that's mine and I can control this. So <laughs> that's so weird. All right. Anyway, before I, this is, this isn't part of that, but I picked up these cute little signs. I think they're adorable. They were three eighty eight, so they were a dollar fifty, maybe a dollar ninety, something. Um, this one is for Big Brit, and this one is for us because I'll put it out with our decorations. Um, but I'm gonna wrap that one up for Big Brit to put into the stocking. Um, I thought these were fun. I run on coffee and Christmas cheer. This is a two pack. And it was just a dollar. These were 50 cents. So I bought one, two, three. And coffee-headed ninny mug heads. <laughs> if you're an elf fan, but for 50 cents, yeah. Um, I may keep one or two of those aside just uh, for some present type stuff next year. I thought this looked fun. Uh, Santa's, Santa's Rockin' Cocktails. Now you know why I said. Um, Christmas Cosmo. 
Fala La Sangria, spiked apple cider, and peppermint martini. I like pepper martinis, but that goes into the stocking. And this, I don't remember what this one was. This was $6 down to three. This was $12 down to six. Um, this is a hot cocoa bar. This is actually something Little Bread asked for, so we're going to put it aside for us. But this just has a cinnamon topping, crushed peppermint, vanilla sugar, and peppermint sugar. So one of the things I have planned is a hot cocoa bar, which I'm excited about. And these things sealed, sugars sealed, will be fine for a year. This is Paloma Margarita. And I was surprised that this, this was with the Christmas item, so we double-checked it. It was originally $10 down to $5. These are absolutely going in the stocking. I like a cocktail every once in a while. I am not a big drinker. I'm just not. Um, <clears throat> these were fun. So we have this wooden spoon that says uh, Christmas Blessings. And this one, it's the most wonderful time of the year. And these were originally a dollar and they were each 50 cents. Oh, those were great. This box is getting quite full. Can't wait to have to wrap it all. Kate, if you're watching, are you up for wrapping instead of crafting one day? Okay, let's see what else we picked up. Um, I thought he was so cute. He was originally four down to two. He's just so stinking cute. Um, something else Little Bert asked for. I don't know why. He just thought it was super cool. He looked at that and said, Mom, can I have this? It was five originally down to 250. I said, that's fine, but you have to have find a home for it in your room that you're going to, you know, keep up. We found Blackberry Margarita. This was also 10 down to five. I'm not really sure I can put it here. There we go. And this cute little sign. So Merry Christmas and Season's Greetings. I think this is really cute. It's called a spin, spin word sign. $5 down to $2.50. Pop Shelf was, they were rocking it with some of their uh, stuff. I was really impressed with some of the, with a few of the prices I was able to get things at. So, and here's the, the last, this is the last bag, and the biggest one. Let's see what we have in here. Oh, these were cute. All right, these were $5 down to $2.50. Um, I thought these were super fun. I bought two, one for the stocking, one for me. I honestly didn't realize until we started doing this that I bought a lot for me. But that's okay. Um, did this uh, Santa stop here? So this was so cute. It was in a big pile. I don't think people realize that these were still part of it. Um, it was like in a big rolling metal bin. Um, but it was two fifty down to. I mean, I'm sorry, it was five dollars down to two fifty. I thought that would be cute for the stocking. Um, these are adorable. These are for. Uh, your silverware. So when you're putting out your silverware, you can put them in here. Um, these were originally, if you can see, $6 down to three. One for them, one for me. Um, I found these mats and I was super excited about them. I think I only, I only bought two. I don't know, maybe I should have bought more, but these are, these are very big dish drying mats. Now, you know, I buy that you may know that I buy these from Dollar Tree often because I redo one side of them so that you get this nice decorative look. Um, these are just really nice. You don't, you don't need to redo them. Um, so, and for $2, again, winner, winner. All right. So we talked about how everybody has pets. So I found this really cute elf bone. This was five down to $2.50. I'm not going, it squeaks. I'm not going to squeak because my dogs will think it's for them. Um, but 
Um, but our eldest, um, he and his wife have, a, I don't remember what the name of the dog is, but it's huge. That dog is huge. Um, yeah, huge. So he might like that one. I think any of the pets would like this one. Look at that. And it squeaks on the two ends. So this was um, five down to 250. This guy was just really this cute little plushie. Four down to two. Oh, this is uh, for Grandma Lynn for her birthday. She, cause she has cats. You saw the cat toys that we put aside. This was three down to 150. This is um, really nice. This was three down to 150. If they had had more, I would have bought a couple more of these. It's got like the grip on this side, which I like. Um, so this is, that one's nice. And finally, this really cute blanket. So 10 down to $5. Oh, that's all there is. And a pair of socks for me called Mistletoes. <laughs> They're just a half sock. I don't remember how much they were. They were maybe a buck or two. Um, but they have the grip on them, which I find is helpful because our floors can be slick. And they're fuzzy. And they're cute. So, all right. Phew. That's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found some things that you thought were interesting. And um, if you go shopping, I I'll be thinking of you. <laughs> I'm done shopping. This was, I'm, I think I'm, I'm pretty close to done. Last year I went out a lot. Um, and I don't, I don't think I'm going to do that. I did go to, um, last year I found quite a bit at Burlington. I did go to Burlington yesterday and nothing was marked down. And in Burlington, it has to have a, a separate markdown tag on it. They, they can't do that at the um, at the checkout. And I asked somebody about it, and she said, that woman over there, she's the one doing it. So I went up to her, and I just said, hey, I'm just wondering, you know, when will your Christmas items be marked down? And she said she had started marking down the Christmas items and then was told she had to stop. And I went, well, then if they're, that doesn't make sense. And she said, I don't have any answers for that. Just they told me I had to stop. I don't know whether it's marked down now. Maybe it was busy. I don't know. But I thought that was weird. So, um, and someone was saying to saying on one of the shows I was watching today that Dollar Tree has marked their Christmas down. So um, I don't I don't know that I'm going to to go to it's ucky and rainy and I don't want to go out. <laughs> so I'm probably not going to hit any more stores um, at the moment. But if I do, I will do a haul and I will show you what I got. In the meantime, if you like the video, if you like the content, please, please, please um, hit subscribe, hit the like button, share the video. All of those things help me with my analytics and help me build up my channel and, um, and help me bring more stuff to you all. So I appreciate you. All right. Cheers.